Hello friends, this video on system of particles and rotational motion part 35 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us look at problem 3. It says the oxygen molecule has a mass of 5.30 into 10 to the power minus 26 kgs and a moment of inertia of 1.94 into 10 to the power minus 46 kgs about an axis through its center perpendicular to the lines joining the two atoms. So let us suppose these are the two atoms of the oxygen molecule. This is the line which is joining the two molecules. Now the mass of the oxygen molecule that means the mass of the whole system is 5.30 into 10 to the power minus 26. And what is the moment of inertia? It is 1.94 into 10 to the power minus 46 kgs meter square. Right? Now it is also given that the mean speed of such a molecule is 500 meter per second. So the value of velocity is also given. And it is also given that the kinetic energy of rotation is two-third of its kinetic energy of translation. So kinetic energy of rotation is two-third of kinetic energy due to translation. So we have to calculate the average angular velocity of the molecule. So now by definition of moment of inertia, we know I is equal to summation of m i r i square. Right? So in this case, mass of e, there are two molecules, m1 and m2. So mass of both the both the atoms will be same. So let us suppose m1 is equal to m by 2, m2 is also equal to m by 2, where m is the total mass of the uh, oxygen molecule. Right? Now what about the distance? So this becomes equal to m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square. So if we consider this point as the center, so r1 and r2 will also be the same, that is the radius of each atom. So this becomes equal to m by 2 r square plus m by 2 r square. So this is equal to m r square. So from this we can say that i is equal to m r square or radius of the oxygen atom will be equal to root over i by m. So this is equal to root over 1.94 into 10 to the power minus 46 divided by 5.3 into 10 to the power minus 26. So this comes out to be 0 0.60 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters. Now also it is given that the kinetic energy of rotation is equal to two-third of the kinetic energy of translation. So that means 1 by 2 high omega square is equal to 2 by third of 1 by 2 m v c m square right so this half and this half will get cancelled so from this we get omega square is equal to 2 by 3 m v square divided by i so this becomes equal to 2 by 3 m v square divided by m r square so this m and m will get cancelled so from this we get omega is equal to root over 2 by 3 v by r so this is equal to root over 2 by 3 into v is given as 500 meter per second divided by r is what we have calculated some time back that is 0 0.60 into 10 to the power minus 10 so this comes out to be 6.80 into 10 to the power 12 radians per second. So this is the angular velocity of the molecule. Now let us look at the last problem of this lesson. It says a solid cylinder rolls up an inclined plane of angle of inclination 30 degrees. So that means this is an inclined plane of angle of inclination 30 degrees. So let me call this as PQ. Right? At the bottom of the inclined plane, the center of mass of the cylinder has a speed of 5 meter per second. How far would the cylinder go up the plane? Now, the total kinetic energy at the bottom of the cylinder, that is at point P. So at P, 
what would be the total kinetic energy at P that will be equal to rotational kinetic energy plus translational kinetic energy that is equal to half I omega square plus half M V C M square right similarly the total kinetic energy at point Q will be equal to MGH so again as per conservation of energy we can say that the total kinetic energy at P should be equal to the total kinetic energy at Q. So that means half I omega square plus half M V C M square should be equal to M G H. Right? Now for a solid cylinder, because here in this problem we are talking about a solid cylinder. So for a solid cylinder, moment of inertia I is equal to M R square by 2. All these things we have calculated before, right? So we can put this value in this equation. So what do we get? Half into 1 by 2 m r square into omega square plus half m v square is equal to m g h. So m m will get cancelled on both the sides. Now since we know that V is equal to R omega, therefore we can write down omega as V by R. So therefore we get 1 by 4 V square plus 1 by 2 V square is equal to GH. So this implies that 3 by 4 V square is equal to GH or we can say that H is equal to 3 by 4 V square by G. So that is equal to 3 by 4 into V square that is 5 into 5 because 5 meter per second is the velocity of the center of mass that is already given in the problem. So this divided by 9.8. So this comes out to be 1.91 meters. So this is the height of the inclined plane. Now we have to calculate the distance up to which the solid cylinder will move in the inclined plane. That means we have to calculate the value of PQ. We have to calculate this distance. Now we will apply simple geometry. We will concentrate on the triangle PQR. So in this triangle PQR, we can say that sine 30 degree is equal to QR divided by PQ. Right? So therefore we can say PQ is equal to QR divided by sine 30 degree. So what is QR? QR is nothing but height of the inclined plane divided by sine 30 degrees. So that is equal to 1.91 divided by sine 30 is 1 by 2. So this comes out to be 3.82 meters. So this would be the value of the distance up to which the solid cylinder will move up the inclined plane. So with this I will conclude this lesson and I hope that the concepts of rotational kinematics and rotational dynamics are clear to you. So uh, I would hope you to solve little more problems so that the concepts are clearer to you. However, this is such a lesson where you can get go more, I mean, where you can go deeper into the lesson and you can try to solve even tougher problems. But here in this lesson I have tried to focus on uh, your um, class 11th uh, board syllabus and I hope it helped you. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.